Hi, this is Monty Hipsch, the Guru Guru, and today I want to share with you a document that we use when we perform audits of Google AdWords campaigns. So if you're running an AdWords campaign uh, as a reseller for Google, they give us access to different documents and industry best practice, and this top eight Google AdWords optimization tips for Australian agencies is one of those documents, and it's available on this page so that you can uh, download and print out this document for yourself. It is the document we use when we conduct our free audits of clients' uh, AdWords campaigns, although we do have a ninth item that we add, which is that you need to have Google Analytics installed so you can see the performance on your website. If you don't have Google Analytics installed, uh, clearly you're driving your car without uh, any instruments and dashboard. You don't know the speed, you don't know the petrol, you don't know anything. And while it says Australian agencies, this document will work in, uh, I mean, it's the same in the US and the UK, it doesn't matter, uh, all the same. <clears throat> this basically um, outlines uh, everything you need to know. It was done in 2007. The only change in it uh, I'll talk to you about in a second. So here they're talking about uh, when you set up ad groups uh, between 5 and 20 keywords in a group so that you can create uh, specific ads relative to those keywords so that you can improve and keep your quality score high. They talk about not mixing and matching uh, high-performing keywords and low ones because you get a lower click-through rate for the ad group and that affects your costs. They talk about using the insertion tool and echoing back search terms and that that really needs to be split tested so you can see whether that's effective or not. If everybody's doing it, it, it loses its effectiveness. The only thing that's changed here is in match types. You've got broad match, phrase match, and exact match. The movement in the, in the last year has been more to phrase and exact match to reduce click costs, and people realize that they want to keep their click costs down and, and not have just unqualified traffic. They do have a new uh, match type called modified broad match. And uh, Google that, and you'll see how to use that more effectively for you. Keep your keywords short. They're talking about phrases. The average search phrase these days is 2.3 words, uh, so somewhere between 2 and 3 is good, good, good structure. The default configuration when you set up Google AdWords is to have the uh, Google Search and Content Networks turned on, but they should be in separate campaigns because uh, you're trying to achieve different goals with those things. Uh, this is a key one here, negative keywords. We find many, many campaigns that we <coughs> review do not have and have not used any negative keywords, and therefore you're getting lots of traffic that is unqualified. And then, of course, what we do is we're constantly testing and changing the environment. We're always running at least two ads to uh, in a race to see which one has better conversions. You need to constantly... Uh, this is not a set-and-forget environment with Google. You need to actually participate in the AdWords system and continually monitoring and changing. We work in a world of small percentages. I mean, if I can incre increase a click-through rate from, you know, 2% to 4%, somebody said, well, that's only 2%. No, know your math. That's 100% improvement to go from 2 to 4%. Makes a huge difference. So um, please feel free to download this document. Remember our ninth item that you include Google Analytics in your, uh, on, on your website and uh, use it to review your AdWords account, or alternatively, uh, ask us to do it. We're happy to do that. We send you this document with our review against this, uh, and it's absolutely free. There's no charge for that. I hope you found this valuable. Thank you for your time. Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru.